William Jennings Bryan and the fundamentalists in America had launched a nationwide crusade uh, to limit um, or stop the teaching of the theory of human evolution in public schools. The Scopes trial is really the first legal conflict in the United States regarding the theory of evolution. In the Scopes trial, you probably had some of the best, or the best, orators at the time with William Jennings Bryan and Clarence Darrow. Evolution changes your view of yourself. It puts you as part of the natural world rather than as separate from the natural world. Nobody prepared the world for Darwin. And his idea does turn everything upside down in a certain way. You can still go everywhere you ever went, but it's different now. If you look at The Origin of Species, the book itself suggests that the evolutionary theory is perhaps the plan of the creator. But when it comes to the Darwinian explanation of man, or sometimes even evolutionary explanation period, you're only getting one side in the public schools. There's a fiery hot discussion going on in this country about creationism, intelligent design, and evolution. But as a scientist, I do have to say that I don't see it as a debate. But I fear that using the term debate might give a lot of people the wrong idea. So I would prefer to use the term conversation or discussion. From a scientific point of view, the debate is not there.